Hey guys, and welcome to another modding and tutorials video. Um, I'm actually re recording this after I did the tutorial, but uh, the t today we're going to be ma making a farm, and Jordan's going to be doing most of the uh, video, so thumbs up for him, and uh, I'll pass it off to him. Here he is. Hey, this is Jordan, and uh, I'm going to be helping my brother make a video. Anyways, um, we're going to be making a farm today, and... This video is going to be a little different than last time I helped my brother make a video, because this time I'm going to be playing, and I'm going to be talking at the, like, the same time. But uh, for now, uh, I'm not going to waste time, so I'm just going to build it, and then we'll be back. Hey guys, it's Brayden, actually. Um, so my brother just made the room, but he uh, he's a little troubled uh, by explaining the dimensions. What it is, is uh, six wide, one, two... Three, four, five, six. Uh, it could either be too high for, from this area, so one, so one, two, or you can have three. I like personally, I like three because it gives you more room to jump around. Uh, but if too high, if I don't know, just you understand. And uh, yeah, what you're gonna need to do is actually I'll let Jordan explain. But that's the dimensions of it, and it has to be eight long because that's as far as water flows. And I'll let Jordan finish this off. Okay, this is Jordan again, and after you make, uh, you like, your finish, uh, the room, just like this, then you're gonna want to get some dirt, and you're gonna go and want to get two buckets of water. Okay, guys, this is how you make a bucket. First, you're gonna need some iron. You're gonna p put it, like, in a, kind of like a one zigzag, and, yeah, that's how you make one. Yeah, two, because it's easier to go back, in instead of going back and forth. Okay, so now we're going to go get some water. Okay, this is Jordan. Yeah, you know. And uh, now that we have our supplies, we're going to have to put first at the very corner of both sides. You're going to want to put dirt. Oh, sorry. You're going to want to put it a straight line at the back, like this. On uh, both sides. In the two buckets of water, or four, like you don't really need water to make it, but it uh, looks like kind of cooler. And then you put it at the sides so it goes down the, sh the lane and then you that and that's how you make um a farm okay now that we built the farm we're going to have to get some seeds but first we need to make a hoe that's how you make Okay, now that we have a hoe, we're going to have to right click on the grass. Sometimes it won't give you uh, a seed, but yeah, sometimes it does. Okay, now now that we have the seeds, we're going to hoe the, the dirt so we can plant the seeds. So just double right right click the the dirt so to get it like a to look like that to make it look like that Okay guys, thanks for watching and that's how you make a farm. Hey guys, it's Braden again. Uh so thumbs up for another tutorial or commentary by Jordan. And uh, a few things that he kind of got mistaken on or whatever. Uh, yeah, so you right click to hoe the dirt and then you plant, right click to plant the seeds obviously. Most of you guys probably know this by now. And uh, another thing he forgot is you need torches all around the room because this is an underground farm and there's going to be no sunlight. So let's just make a few, do I have sticks? Good, I have sticks. Okay, so let's make um let's make a bit more actually. Let's 
good. And you're gonna ma need to make some torches. Okay, so now that I have some torches, you're just gonna need to sorry guys, the video just cut off there. Whoa, um some lag. Um so now that you got torches, you're gonna need to just obviously put them all around the wall. You don't need to put them on the third layer, just the middle whoa, whoa. Okay, that's what the hell? I don't know why it's doing that. Um, okay. Anyways, yeah, that's how you <laughs> that's kinda weird. What the hell? Okay, let's just, uh, that's really, really weird. I've never seen that before. I'm not sure. I think that's a mod that I have that's doing that or something. I don't know. Anyways, so, yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> um, that's how you make a farm, guys. Uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, I know I didn't get enough seeds, but once the wheat grows to the full length, which is brown at the tips, and it turns a little bit golden, uh, you'll definitely know when it grows to the top, because it won't grow any further after a while and it will be brownish with the golden tips or whatever so that's what it'll look like and I know I don't have enough seeds like I said uh, but when you break a wheat it will give you some seeds and some wheat back so you can plant more and then if later on when you have a lot more seeds extend your um, farm a little bit bigger and that, this is just an underground farm you can do it above ground too obviously without the torches but uh, I don't know I like it underground because it makes it more safe well, actually, another, uh, yeah, cool. Another neat thing I usually do. Hang on, just, uh. I usually put a chest here at the very uh, back just for, um, putting seeds and a hoe. So, like, because I don't need that right now, and I don't think I need it anywhere else other than this farm. So, it's just good to have, like, a little chest. And this is just the way I, me, and my brother have learned to make a farm, and, uh,. There's a lot of other ways. I'm not sure if this is probably not the best way of doing it, but this is just the way we learned. And, um, so yeah, again, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you next video, guys. Hey, guys, and welcome to another modding and tutorials video. Um, I'm actually re recording this after I did the tutorial, but, uh, the t today we're going to be ma making a farm, and Jordan's going to be doing most of the uh, video, so thumbs up for him and uh, I'll pass it off to him. Here he is.